Hey, how you doing? Austin here. So Cardano ADA is looking like expected to be maybe bullish for the next 24 to 36 hours. We're going to talk about that in this video, talk about a, a couple of key technical analysis aspects of ADA and kind of give you uh, an overall kind of walk around the park. As you can tell, I am definitely not at my normal uh, Dallas studio. Uh, you can see I'll lean over. You can see over my shoulder. That is the Lake of the Ozarks that you see behind me. Um, some friends of mine, my wife and I, they have a place here and we have been coming here for quite a while now with our families. My son's with us and all his friends. And so it's a good time, uh, which, by the way, is is a I want to wish all you guys a, a early happy July 4th holiday and hope that you're looking forward to uh, spending some time with friends, family, loved ones. And uh, ultimately, because in my opinion, that's what it really comes down to is just trying to enjoy those that you uh, hold closest to, you know, hold closer. Those that you're closest to in your life. You know what I'm trying to say? OK, so let's jump into this. So right here, right now, the overall crypto market is up one point four uh, below that nine hundred billion dollar market cap. Now, Cardano itself is on the last seven days. You can see it's right here. It's down eleven point three percent in the last seven days. And currently, as of recording this video, it's up one point four and it's it's oscillating. It's moving, it's moving around, but it's trading in this forty four cent range. So you can see it's been a low of forty three cents all the way to a high of forty seven. So it's a pretty tight trading range. Frank, quite frankly, not expecting it to do a lot right here, right now sounds you can hear there's some there's some uh, um, waves coming in and that's the boat over here that's banging up against the side a little bit so that's that's the sound you hear also there's a dog that dock right there it squeaks <laughs> so got that going on you know hey this is this is real life this is what you know you, this is what happens okay so um so let's take a look at, at some of these these aspects so um ADA tech analysis shows slight bullish movement um, technicals are bullish for ADA and the closest resistance is found at 52 cents. So let's let's jump back over real quickly and see again. We're right now in this 44 cent range. OK, and if we look at a seven day chart, you can see, yeah, we've established down in here. Yeah. So we kind of had this down this downward pressure movement here. Again, kind of the overall market conditions, Bitcoin, Ethereum doing their thing. So not a huge surprise there. But there's what that is a number you need to be aware of. Resistance is at 52 cents. That's a pretty big key thing that you need to be aware of and know that it's there and go, OK, that's the number that Austin talked about. And that's the number that I need to be um, I need to be kind of take, keep keeping an eye on. Now, from a support standpoint, um, we have we have support and, and per this is a is in this 30 to 33 cent range. That's what they're saying now. We are way north above that, but that's a kind of a really bottom, bottom, bottom support, if you will, a, a, at a lower level. We've really got support here. We've had support now for, for quite a while. Uh, you know, so let me see here. Yeah, I mean, it's come down and it's really supporting at this 43, 42 cent range. OK, so let's see. Let's see what else. And then. And then so like we said, the technical indicators are mostly bullish, suggesting that ADA will likely continue its upward trend sooner. However, there's a possibility of short-term price correction, so investors should be cautious. Now, this 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 specific um, line, in my opinion, talks about the overall kind of market conditions. Now, you know, I, I do talk about overall market conditions because here's the thing that you need to be aware of. Okay, Bitcoin, Ethereum, we still have a lot of downside pressure and possibly happening there. In fact, I think that we might be seeing kind of what I call a slow bleed out over the next 45 days for Bitcoin Ethereum to drop to say fourteen, fifteen thousand dollar range and Ethereum to drop to say five to six hundred dollar range. That's what the technical analysis is showing on on possible possibilities for those two. And that really is kind of the bottom of the market. Now, if that does happen, we know that Cardano will move down a little bit with it, probably maybe move down to the 30 cent range, possibly if we see those that that pressure on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we could have some short term bullish scenario for Cardano, which we are seeing, right? It's up, it's bouncing up 2.63% right now as we're recording this video. And the overall, but the overall market conditions kind of still remain uh, bearish, if you will. Okay. So again, I just want to leave you with that. Um, as always, I appreciate you. Please uh, look, you know, try to spend some time with the friends and your family and those that you, uh, that you love in your life. And I want to tell you that I really appreciate you supporting myself, my channel, my videos. I know you have a choice in the content you choose. And I have one goal is to help you navigate crypto better and make more money. And overall, uh, just navigate the crypto waters a little bit better today, tomorrow than you did yesterday. I'll see you. Have a good one. Bye.